Hi guys, uh, history ya Shangazi imekuwa ikitrend for almost one week now. And uh, one thing, uh, ningependa kwanza ku tukosho wale ambao wanatuwa na sema kwamba wanamsaidia. You may think that you are helping, ama mneza kuwa na huo moyo kutaka kumsaidia, but then you are doing it in a wrong manner in a wrong style first of all kumsiana hata kama mbekuwa mkikata kusema huu msiana hayuko ndani hayuko kwa contract na nikisema hayuko ndani ya contract I don't want it to be perceived watu wafikiri ama waseme kuamba kutoroka kwa contract uh, kuna kufanya ama kuwa kemboi kuna kupatia kuna kufanya uitwe nini uitwe malaya ati na vile watu wengi wanafanya vile wanapenda kuona fake boy kuwa nini kuwa malaya that is not there that is not, not the my point sababu to my understanding mtu ndiye atoka kwa, kwa contract most of them kuna yale ambayo wanakwangu wamepitia kuna yale ambayo wanakwangu wamepitia wanakwangu wamepitia ni wachache tu ambao hutoroka kwa sababu ya tamaa zao za kibinafsi ambazo ni pesa labda wanataka pesa mingi na pengine zile zile nini zile mahitaji ya mahitaji ya kimwili but majority wanatoroka kwa sababu labda wametelekezwa wame ama wamekuwa ignored na, na the agencies yetu wanapitia ma wanapitia makuu ama wanapitia changamoto that's when unapata wengine wafani wengine they opt kufanya ni kutoroka now hatujui kile ambacho kilimfanya changazi akafanya akatoka kwa contract hiyo ni yeye mwenyewe anajua but wakati alitoka kwa contract it's quite clear like, and everyone can, can testify that that wakati alikuja alikuja nje sasa kuna mambo ambayo pia alianza ku alijihusisha nayo ambayo sio mambo ya sio mambo mazuri that is why hiyo ndio ina create picture ama ina create dhana kwamba makemboi wanakuja wanakujangwa na wanatoroka wanakuja wanafanya tabia ambazo ambazo si nzuri Shangazi mwenyewe aliconfess kwa, kwa nini ona ona recording akisema kwamba alikuwa alikuwa anapiga rafiki yake picha akifanya nini wakifanya tendo la ndoa ama tendo la ngono na wanomwawili Now huyu alikuwa ni rafiki yake karibu Now after the two fell apart huyu shangazi na ule rafiki yake wa kike. Ndio hizi stories zote zimekuja kufanya zimekuja kutoka, zimekuja kutokea. Kumekuwa na allegation that shangazi yako ni mjamzito. Ambazo uh, in, in, in less than uh, in less than 24 hours ama in less than 24 hours mlikuja mkapindua maneno wale ambao ni, ni marafiki zake. Mimi sitaki kusema kwamba ni sitaki kusema kwamba ni uongo shangazi si mjamzito but in defense mmekuja in defense na expert ambao mnapenda kwamba shangazi si mjamzito mnasema kwamba hiyo nyumba haina nini hiyo nyumba haina waititu who said that nyumba kukosa waititu ni dhahiri kwamba mtu hawezi kuwa mjamzito the same same house mnasema kwamba kuna kuna vijana wawili hapo so kama vijana hawezi kama wanaweza wakazuia shangazi atoke mbona wasifani mbona wasikuwa na hiyo capability ya ku ya kuimpregnate shangazi why are you not uh, trying to trying to think outside the box mmetafuta huyu ambaye alikuja na hii allegation akasema shangazi ni mjamzito sababu huyu alikuwa ni rafiki yako karibu they shared so many secrets ni yeye ambaye anasema anaweza fanya nini kuna yale ambayo atasema ni ukweli kuna yale ambayo atasema ni uongo but let's just call a spade a spade wakati mtu anapata na jambo kitu cha kwanza lazima fani lazima aseme ukweli ili apate kusaidia ili apate kusaidika we all understand that saudi is not a, is not african it's a, it's a kingdom uwezo ukafanya nini huku sio mahali ambapo ambako utafanya tu jambo hivyo vile hivyo ambavyo unafikiria okay tusahau wayo ambayo uh, shangazi alifanya let's deal with the issue at hand Shangazi yako nini? Anahitaji msaada. 
Sisi kama wa Kenya ama nyinyi kama wa Kenya mmekuja pamoja mnataka kumsaidia. The first, first the first very mistake ambayo mlifanya ni kuchukua hawa jamaa ambao wako Saudi ambao sijui ni Abel na nani kuwatuma. Ati waende wachukue polisi wafanye nini? Waende waende kutoa huyo msichana ambao waende kumsaidia. Hiyo ni sheria ya hawa watu ambao mnavunja. Suppose huyo mwajiri Huyo mama ambayo wanasema hao kukuwa hapo hivyo. Angeshitaki, angegeukia hawa kina abe la seme. Hawa wamekuja, kui, wamekuja kuiba mjakazi wangu. Hawa washikwe. Nini ambao mnawapatia pressure na kuwapatia advice kwa ambi. Kwa kusema ati, ati endeni tutawachangia. Alafu hawa kina abe la kujua fungiwe. Munge watoa vipi. Hamoni kama mna risk maisha ya watu. There is a procedure. Kitu cha kwanza shangazi hayuko kwa contract. Angekuwa kwa contract you can approach the you can approach the agency office. Then another the second mistake. Naona mmenda mmenda live wale ambao wale ambao mlikuwa mnadini mnasema mnamsaidia mmenda live huko Kenya. Then mnaenda kwa polisi Sijui kama ni mmoja wa askari ambaye mmechukua naye pia ako na makosa sababu he is trying to play to be a hero. Sijui kama ana understand ana understand nini ana understand sheria za sheria za intelligence. Uwezo kaenda na live recording kwa nini kwa police station. You have to understand that sio kila mtu ambaye mwenye hapa hivi hapa TikTok ako golf. We have the we have the the NIS here, agents here. So msifikirie ati ni nyenye pekenyu mko hapo hivyo wakati mko kwa live. Live yuko na watu 1 point something. Mnafikiria watu wote wako golf ama watu wako hapo hivyo to support to support what you are doing. We have the spice there. And that's why unapata hizo recording ambazo sijui ni Peter Peter Collins walikuwa nazo huko ndani kwa, kwa nini kwa police station. Someone leaked. Police station does does not haiku haiku bali kwenda kwenda kufanya recording huko ndani. The only place ambao unaweza record labda ni mahakamani wakati wakati proceedings zinaendelea. But police station ni kituo. Hata huyo polisi ambaye ama, ama ni askari, I don't know who who, who Peter is. But kama na yeye anaweza ingia na simu kwa simu kwa nini ati ameficha. Yeye mwenyewe anajua he's breaking the law. That is why ana feature. You are exposing the intelligence service. Then another thing, menda uko, familia yake iko pale. But now you are playing, you are, you are, you are, you are playing to be more concerned, than, to be more concerned than the family. At least mungengoja kwanza mfani muangalie family na chukulia jambo hilo kwa uzito gani. Juna nyinyi mfani mwa support. Not that nyinyi mmekuwa on the front line. Family ifani, family ikuwe nyuma. Muna sema wanye family na juwana na hiyo agency. Agency ya Kenya. Then mbona, mbona msiacha wa deal na ayo? Wakigwama wa itaji wa, wa nini wasema wanitaka msanda wenu. Then you chip in. But not, njini sasa muna, muna enda kujipandia kiherehere. Sorry to use that word. But muna enda kujipandia kiherehere. Yet hamujui, family inafani. Family kama ikona, ikona different nini. Ikona different uh, point of view of approaching approaching the issue yes nini ni kusaidia mnataka kusaidia some of you are doing it in a good faith but then are you doing it in a right way that was not the right manner that was, that is not the right procedure saudi huko kuna sheria maybe men we have uh, that freedom tuko na kale kanini ka freedom ka move but it's limited there are some of the things that we cannot do. I cannot just walk where, from where I am. I go to somewhere. Maybe at the end of the day, just because I'm at my location, my fellow Kenyan is there. At the upper next building. There is nothing I can do. If I go there, I go to the police, I go to the police, I go to the police, I go to the police. 
nyinyi wenye nyinyi ambao mtakuwa mmenituma mtajua ni kwa hapa let's not try to play hero to, ama to be heroine where it doesn't apply kama Kenya ndio huko mtu ameenda kwa nini ameenda ku play hero ama alikuwa anataka kusaidia ndio huyo ameshikwa anashikwa ndio kwa ndani how about here huyo Abel ambaye nilisikia kama yake ilikuwa scanned hiyo fine atapigwa nani atamsaidia kulipa will you people come in to help my fellow brothers kwenye mko don't abuse the little freedom you have Mimi hata afadhali afadhali nienda kwa nienda kwa agency. Nienda ni nienda kwa hiyo agency niwaambie kwamba kuna one of you mmoja mmoja wetu ama hata niseme ni kazini yangu ama a relative ako huku na alikuja na hiyo ofisi. But anafanya nini? Anapitia shida mahali fulani. But now see that is waka, kama mtu ako kwa contract. What if kama hayuko kwa contract? You have to think before you act. You don't just wake up and do what? And start acting. Kenya iko governed na, na sheria zake. Saudi pia iko iko na iko na sheria zake. Hizi ni hizi nchi mbili sio same sio kama Kenya na Uganda. This is not East Africa. Kingine nilikuwa nasikia pale kwa live wanasema wanawake wanasema ati wachukue KDF wakuje huko. KDF wanakuja huko wanakuja Saudi kufanya nini? Wanakuja Saudi kufanya nini? Before, before to find you fikiria kufanya jambo try to think what could be the the, the repercussions ama consequences zitafa, zitakuwaaje try to way try to way what you are thinking yes try to way angalia kwamba hicho kitendo ambacho unataka kufanya kitamsaidia yule ambaye unataka kusaidia ama kitafanya ama kitamwadhiri kita kabisa Now the only the only way then then another thing nikaona kule kule police station ambako mlienda mliambiwa kwamba issue itashughulikiwa kesho but now it's like you are forcing issues mpaka nasikia pita na mwambie sometimes sijui if uh, at, I don't know the term he used but alisema uh, huwa inafika mahali force has to apply you want to apply to, to apply the, the the force on a police on, on a police I'm on a police force. Who are you now? You are threatening the police. I don't know ambia kama nini. Kama kama negotiation imeshindikana, you can apply the you can apply the force. Now you are applying the force ndio watu ambao maybe wako kwa live wanakusikiza, waone kwamba wewe ni mjasiri. Na unakuja unafanya nini? Documents zako za kazi zinakuja zinachukuliwa. Wewe utapote upoteze kazi kwa sababu you are going against ki, kile kiapa ambacho ulikula and you know very well but you are trying to be ignorant ndio uonekane nini ndio uonekane hero sikatai mtu asisaidie even me i do help but i don't i don't approach issues in that manner the only the only person ama the only the only the only agency that can help shangazi labda ni embassy hapa ambayo mnasema haisaidii sababu huyu msana alisha alishavunja sheria za nini alisha breach contract na niliona pia mwingine hapo huyo nani sijui ni pitama ni polis wakisema kwamba agency ndio inafaa kulipa ati inafaa kulipa in case mtu anataka kuninia ataka kutoka kwa contract i don't know kama if they are conversant with the contract the contract is very clear ukitaka wewe mwenye umekuja kazi ukitaka kutaminate contract without a valid reason and in this case a valid reason ni either when ni mgonjo you are not able to work na umeenda hospitalini imepewa imethibitisha kwamba you are unfit to work that is the only circumstance agency inafanya inaweza kukulipia inaweza kukulipia ticket apart from that ni wewe mwenyewe unafanya unafaa ujilipie then inasema inapatiana another op- options the employer may may ask for compensation pesa ambazo alitumia kufanya nini ku mobilize from your country hadi kuja huko so it's optional employee anaweza decide either kama utamcompensate ama utafanya nini ama atakuwa chini tu kuenda hakuna mali inasema ati hakuna mali inasema ati 
at the agency ndio inafaa ikulipie but sababu labda wewe umekuwa hapo hivyo umekuwa ukinini na, na good morals na, na good characters ndio unapanda some agency ama hii ofisi ya Saudi Arabia ambayo ulikuja nayo inafaa nini ina demand iletee mtu mwingine wa kufanya wa replace huyu in case wewe unafanya wewe umetaminate contract unaenda na hujalipa labda ofisi ya Kenya ikikubali kunini kuku replace unaachiliwa unaenda then sababu huyu employee ambao unitoka kwa kwa sponsor huyu anahitaji mtu mwingine sababu labda alikuwa ashafanya nini ashalipa pesa kwa hii embassy hii hii agency sound kwa mfanyakazi wa miaka miwili lakini unatoka na miezi sita huo mwaka mmoja na miezi sita inabaki nani anafanya nani anafanya hiyo kazi yeye atashalipia hiyo huduma nani anampatia that's why ana anaenda anapatiwa mtu mwingine so it's up to you it's up to you sababu si agency inakutoa hapo ni wewe mwenyewe mmemuta mbona sasa agency ikulipie wana ikulipie yetu unaifanya at your at your free will so hizi vitu ignorance ignorance inatukula sisi wa Kenya sana that is the that is the the contract rules hivyo ndio zinasema mimi sasa nikitaka nikitaka kunini kutaminate contract employee anaweza niambia nimlipe that is ni optional anaweza akaamua nimlipe ama nisimlipe mimi binafsi not the, not my agency now shangazi alifanya shangazi alitoa shangazi ni kutoroka alitoroka now we are we are here trying to trying to push the government unaenda kwa kituo kwa kituo of which hiyo issue hata haishughulikiwi na kituo hiyo issue inafaa kushughulikiwa na ministry of labor ministry of labor iwasiliane na embassy nao nyinyi mnataka kwenda kunini kuko circus kwa police station threatening to apply force in a police station asi police station inafaa nini police station inaleta ina watu Saudi Arabia police station inaleta watu Saudi Arabia ministry of labor na ministry of foreign affairs hizo ndo zinaweza zikaingilia kati na zisaidie na hizo zikaingilia kati ina, ina couple of minutes nilisikia mkinini mkisema ati mwenzetu wa kuashinda ni nyinyi mnatuambia kesho mlikuwa mnataka wafanye aje wachukue private private jet wakuje huko nini wachukue shangazi shangazi ambaye hata labda amjui kwenye amjui hasa kwenye kwenye yuko acha tu acha tu acha tu tujichunguze na pia tujiulize maswali we don't know kukemboi hakuna reverse ukitoka ni hivyo my advice to my to my nini to my sisters ambao mko nje ya contract you are my sisters especially kwa wale ambao walitoroka kwa contract kwa sababu ya kupitia mateso after being ignored by the agencies this is my advice you take it ama ukiona haitakusaidia achana nayo the moment umekemboi umeenda kule nje umepata kazi nyingine keep off from the social medias epuka kabisa na social media enda huko ulitoroka kule kwingine sababu hauko unapatiwa peace of mind umeenda kule labda unapata hiyo peace of mind kidogo hata kama hautakuwa treated as their daughter but unapata hiyo peace of mind fanya kile ambacho kilikupeleka pale hizi vitu ambazo naona mnafanya social media Sikio ni kuenda ku dance huko sijui mna tweak una nini umekuja Saudi Arabia unaona umeshine unataka kuonyesha watu vile umeanza kunini vile umemea vile umemea sijui nini unataka kuonyesha sasa wewe ndio umefika umesahau kwamba kule kwingine ulitoka kwa sababu haukuwa na ulikuwa unapimiwa lakini hapo umekuja umepatiwa list ka freedom unataka na wewe sasa unataka unataka ku misuse nimeona some clips huko mtu anafanya nini mwanadada hata si mwanadada ni mama mzima ana dance hapo hivyo alafu kamzee kanatokea huko sasa sababu kama kuona una dance pia wewe unashangilia sasa unacheka unaona ni kama ni unafanya kitu ya maana kamzee sasa kamefanya nini kameingiwa na ile evil evil mind kanaona huyu mtu ako ako ni it anataka mfanye nini anataka mfanye mapenzi na ye. so hii social media itawapatia pressure na itawaharibia wewe ulikuja ulipanda ndege peke yako hiyo tiketi yako iliandikwa jina yako peke yako Either urudi ukiwa alive ama urudi ukiwa umekufa utarudi peke yako. Mimi nikikufa nitarudi uko peke yangu. Sitarudi na nyinyi. 
hakuna mwenye hata atakuja asema ananisikia sababu kila mtu alikujia kushughulikia shida zake kushughulikia shida zake kama ni wewe kama unatoroka unatoroka unatoka kwa nini unatoka kwa kontra unaenda kwa nje chuo kitu ya kwanza ushavunja sheria so wakati umevunja sheria unafaa uende kwa mnyenyekevu sio uende tena ukule unaenda unaenda kwa kichwa ngumu huko sometimes i go through through your posts na the kind of advice as mnapatiana nyinyi nyinyi wenyewe mnaharibiana ni nyinyi wenyewe mnapeana kichwa mtu anaenda na mess mahali kwenye yuko alafu akikuja kulia mnafaa nini you take that issue mnataka sasa kutrend na mtaka kupata nayo followers na likes yet ni nyinyi wenyewe mlifanya nini mliwa spoil i saw the other time huyo siji nelson midam someone who is in us anawaambia mfanye anawaambia muandamani ati msema mafi shuku wewe kwa sisi tuko saudi mai ona tu ngapi kile pepe uona fikiria tu kutoka na kuaka na kuja tu kuinu unasema haki yetu wewe una, unafikiri utatembea mita ngapi kama unjashiko na vile gari za polisi huko zina zina nini zina patrol kila mahali then unaambiwa tu na mtu sababu wewe akili yako ni ndogo mtu amekuambia ati ukifanyia sijui ukifanyiwa nini ukatae kazi ye mwenye anakuambia hivyo yeye kwenye yako ako comfortable you don't have to think unaweza tafuta tafuta wale marafiki ambao uko nao angalia marafiki wazuri those people who can give you much advice sio yule anakuja tu kuambia vile anafikiria the same same shida za ambayo yeye anafikiria yeye anapitia sio za nyao anapitia watu ambao wako nao matajiri ambao wako nao sio same na hao ambao uko nao so labda kama wako uliwaambia hivyo wakakufanyia hawa nao wataifanya nini wataifanya na different way so usikuwa tu una, unafuata kila atu is ambao unaambiwa afadhali upigia marafiki zako kama uko na wili ama watatu sikiza kutoka kwao ukienda social media utaadvisiwa utapata kwa 300 comments kila mtu ako na opinion zake utafuata nani another thing before uende huko social media kwenda kupeleka shida zako huko try to make sure you may involve your agency hii ni kwa wale ambao wako kwa wako kwa contract jaribu ku involve your agency ikishindikana pigi reach reach your parents huko nyumbani waambie waende wa push agency ya, ya nini ya kule Kenya hiyo agency ya Kenya ifanye nini ipush hii ya huko acha kukimbilia kwa social media social media taribu itakuharibia maneno kabisa itafanya njia zako ziendelee kufunga sababu mimi ama wewe you as an agent unasikia aje wakati unasikia usha, usha nini usha chomewa kwa nini kwa social media then baadaye after usha chomewa the same same person anakuja na kuambia nisaidie how do you take it so eh, najua najua hizi agencies ambazo tuko nazo huko wanaweza kuwa nini wanaweza kuwa wanaweza kuwa vipuri wanaweza kutuignore wakitu ignore kuna ile agency ambayo ulitoka nayo ulitoka nayo Kenya tuma wazazi wako huko sababu huku hauna mtu ambao utafani utamwambia enda ofisi yangu iko hapa enda ufani endo wapatie pressure huku pia mimi naweza nikakuwa na risk naweza kuwa na risk so tumia wazazi sababu Kenya wanaweza wanaweza wakaenda huko they can go as many times as, as possible wakiwapatia pressure nao watapigia hawa huku wapatie hawa huku pressure sababu what, these people wanafanya biashara pamoja hawezi kuwa hawatakuwa ignored watashika simu then they will reach out on you but wewe umeenda kwa social media umeanza kuchoma umeanika namba za nini namba za boss wako huku namba za agency ma agents wanaanza kupigiwa kwa huku sasa mwarabu anapigiwa ama boss anapigiwa na nini na ki, karibu kila mtu na kupatiwa vitisho then una expect huyo mtu afanye nini to act calm let's try to to reason acha tuache ku behave ina maana ya tunafanya nini ya kuendenja hayo nini hayo maisha ya maisha ya wenzetu we are putting our our, our people our, our fellows like sometimes that is something we should, we should know or we should know then another thing kwa my 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 nini my kemboy is pia wakati una kemboy try to inform your family waambie mimi kumeenda hivi kumeenda hivi na dhulumiwa agency yangu imefanya nini imekosa na nikaamua labda kama ulisha ulisha kemboy try to involve your try to inform your family wakae wakijua 
such that wakati utapata utapata na shida wanaanza fanya nini wanaanza jua jinsi ya ku jinsi ya kukusaidia hata kama wako kule Kenya wanaanza kukusaidia through the embassy unaweza kuwa unafanya fanya hapo hivyo kwa ule, kwa, kwa muda mchache wakifanya wakikutafutia njia ya ku njia urudi Kenya na watu pia muache kuogopa kurudi kwa nchi zenu ukiona mambo hayakuende vizuri huku go back to your country go back to your country Unaogopa nini kurudi kwa nchi yako? Kwani uliwa mtu huko? Hizo pressure ati mnasema mkiendo huko hivi ati mtaanza kuona na watu ati mwambie huyu alienda majuna hana kitu. Umeenda huko umerudi kwenu, hujaenda kwa kwendi kuwaomba. Sasa kuna haja gani ukae huku, ujilazimishe kukaa huku. Yes, we, yetu we mwenyewe unatese, yetu we mwenyewe unatese. Ama ukae huku utese ukufu, wewe kama umekufa. Utakuwa umewasaidia aje. This is your life kama destiny yako haikuwa Saudi Arabia unaweza ukatoka Saudi Arabia uende uende uipate kwingine hata labda destiny yako iko Kenya but wewe umekuja unatesekea huko why are you afraid wewe mbona unaogopa kurudi kwenu huko ni kwenu east west home is the best usijilazimishe kuisha mali ambako unafanya nini mali ambako hapa kufit mbona utembea na kiatu ambacho kinakufinya mpaka una una nini unatembea kama kilema Yet you have the option of removing removing that shoe and putting on putting on a new shoe that fits you. Vitu zingine ni sisi wenyewe ambao tunafanya tunajilazimishia. Tunajilazimishia shida. Kama hai work go back. Enda jaribu kwingine, enda kule Qatar ndio jaribu huko. Kama umetoka contract ndio ume, umetoroka. Fanya nini? Kwenye utaenda jaribu enda go, go behave yourself. Enda behave yourself huko. Shangazi kama alikuwa labda na hiyo tabia walikuwa ndivyo walikuwa wanafanya hivyo vitendo na, na ule rafiki yake na wanaume. Then what makes you think that maybe alikuja kwa hii nyumba akapata hao vijana who what makes you think that maybe alikuja akafanya nini? Akajihumble. Hakufanya kitu kama hicho na na watu. Mimi simwekei. I'm just trying to think to reason. then ndio yeye anakuja anawaambia ako safe ako safe as in from the deepest part of her heart ama ni kuambiwa maambiwa awaambie hivyo nao mnasema she is offline who knows but sasa ni kwa nini unafanya kitu kama let's just watch our our ways kila mtu anajua kile kilimleta gulf mimi nitakwambia fanye hivi nitakwambia fanye hivi lakini kikikumania mimi nitazima simu yangu ni fanye ni focus na kile kimenileta huko Let's not do things for the sake of for the sake of the like sana kupata 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 mafans Mafans mimi hawata niwekea chakula kwa meza yangu hawata feed my family huko ni mimi mwenyewe najua family yangu kwenye hivyo Mimi mwenyewe najua vile nafaa kwa sote sasa nikikuja hapa hivi nianza kutoa nguo atisi na washa kifua ama nafanya nini? Hiyo ndio inakuja bills. Some of you unaona ladies mko mpaka na kasi ya kwenda kwa dress mbele ya nini? Mbele ya cameras. Life. Ati mnafanya nini? You just to, to get followers. Then unapata watu tu na akili zao, mtu amekaa hapo, watu wamekaa hapo kwa nguo. Wakati mimi nafanya kitendo kama hicho. You think huu mtu wakati ametoa nguo ati anawafundisha kunyonga? Nyinyi mkitoka hapo hivyo mnaaona like aona nini viewers wako zero unadhani ataendelea but sababu anaona anaongezeka anaona you are interested in it huo ni mmomonyoko wa ubongo au mmomonyoko wa akili mmebebewa akili na huyu mtu ambaye anafanya anawafundisha media never forget hizi vitu ambazo mnafanya hizi ati mnasema ati saudi saudi ni kutoa nini ati gulf haitaki 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 stress Unatoa stress in what in what man? Must we all expose ourselves? Sasa kama unafanya vitendo kama hivyo, hiyo hiyo sehemu bado unaita private part. Is that private now? Mbona unavalia nguo sasa? What are you covering? Because it's public now. Wewe ukirudi huko hata kama utaenda kuolewa, uko na nini? Uko na morals gani? Unajua kuna wenye waliacha watoto huko. Uko na morals gani ukienda kwa ndaka watoto wakupite mama? Wakati wewe mwenyewe tabia ambazo uko nazo ni za kinyama. You, be, you are behaving like a wild animal. 
Let's watch our ways. The man in which we are behaving, it will haunt us. 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 It Hizo vitu ndiyo zitakuja kukuhanti badai. Alafu unawana mtoto waka hame kutharau. Unasema sijui nini nini. Kumbe ni vitu zanyi hame kuona. Hame kuona kwa mtandao vitu za vitu ambazo luku nafanya. Anyway. Mini kwa na shida zangu za zili nileta huku. Acha nisiongia mwenye. Sababu mwenye masikio. Hata sikia. Na yula ambaye hataki kusikia. Continue. Simu ni yako. Ah, wifi ni ya mwarabu. Wai tumie. Sababu nipajua free. Wai tumie. Tumia unafiki. Isiyo bando za kitaisha. Isiyo sabuna ya kitaisha. Wei tumia. Ok? Acha mini baki na morosu zangu za kishamba. Wei faa nini? Wei cheza kiselebu kama wei. Furaisha wa watu wote. Kuwa na, mil, kuwa na million followers. Kuwa na thousand. Kuwa na nini? Kuwa na ten. Kuwa hata kufikisha one name. Fikisha one name likes na views. Any, anything that you want. Mimi, I've just spoke. I've just spoke my mind. Kama maybe itakusaidia. Kama kuna advice itakusaidia hapo hivyo. Take it. Kama utaona pia ni kelele tu nilikuwa na piga. It's okay. I was just maybe speaking. Ama labda niseme pia mimi ni kazi nilikuwa nilikosa. Nilikuongea nilikuwa na wangea. Na kwa hali maybe itawasaidia. Well and good. To the new viewers, please subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Like. Thump up. Alafu tafani utapata notifications whenever I upload a new video. Stay, uh, stay safe. Be careful wherever you are. Team strong. Watch what you are doing before you are, before you you seek for advice. Jaribu kuangalia watu ambao unafani, watu ambao unatafuta kwa kwa kupatia advice. Sio lazima ukua na marafiki wengi. Kwa hata na marafiki wa wili ama mmoja. But unajua huyu nikiwa na shida, anafani, unako nisaidia. Hakuna aje ukua na marafiki, a thousand. But on a kwa advice, advice wa mbazo na kupatia za kukuingiza ma, kukuingiza matatani. For, for shangazi, wherever you are, na kuombea, na kuombea safety, na piu fani, upate kusaidika. I'm not here to criticize you, and I, I'm not here to be, to be mis, misunderstood.